What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Apex Legends video and today I bring you a great location to spawn in and get that easy elite loot. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy the content be sure to subscribe. Okay so this video is for newcomers to the game and there are plenty of you out there as the game is literally brand new respawn dropped this on a dime surprised many many people crazy thing is it's a great great game yeah many are disappointed it isn't uh, more like titanfall but hey it is what it is plus it's free to play you can't get much better than that people so if you're watching this video wondering what this game is thinking that looks good you can get it for absolutely free zero cost on pc xbox or playstation just search apex legends within them stores it's as simple as that so if the game is entirely brand new to you check out this video right here which will explain many things you need to know about the game Apex Legends, a tactical squad-based battle royale that has galvanized the Outlands. Don't shield out. It is the ultimate test of survival. You win or you die. You tried, you died. But this spectacle is nothing without the Legends. From larger-than-life characters like the famed Gibraltar, whose presence on the battlefield can always be felt. <laughs> to Mirage, the fan-favorite jokester whose command of hollow technology makes him a master of deception. Oh, sorry, did I confuse you? There's the mysterious hunter Bloodhound, who quietly stalks their prey. We talk of victory and slaughter. And the tormented Wraith, who has learned to trust the voices in her head. A side effect of phasing between infinite dimensions. Looking for me? But even the most experienced legends must rely on their squad to achieve victory. Who might best complement Bangalore? A weapons expert and offensive powerhouse. Not your day, shooter. Is it the combat medic lifeline? Whose healing abilities and emergency supplies can tip the scales in her favor? We end this together. Or is she better suited with Pathfinder, the scouting specialist, armed with a grappling hook and zip line? That was fun. Or should she take her chances with Caustic? This sociopath relishes the final moments of his victims as they fall prey to his toxic chemicals. In the end, everything dies. Located deep in the Outlands, Kings Canyon was once a rich, thriving territory with natural resources. The varied landscape offers a wide range of tactical challenges. Legends can easily find themselves fully exposed in the long sight lines of the Cascades and Shattered Forest. Got you. While the iconic Leviathan skeleton provides an epic backdrop in Skulltown and Thunderdome. Here I go! It all starts with the drop. Approaching drop zone. Each squad is assigned a jump master. When the jump master chooses to drop, the whole squad exits the dropship together. Going to check it out over there. If you're looking to gear up quickly, dropping into one of the marked hot zones is your best bet to find some higher tier loot. But be warned, you could find yourself in a fight almost immediately. The ultimate test is to secure one of the roving supply ships. If you're skilled enough to land on one of these hovering giants, some elite gear may be waiting for you. Marvelous. The Apex Arena features a robust arsenal of weapons and gear, from agile SMGs and heavy hitting shotguns, <laughs> to deadly light machine guns and energy weapons. There's something for everyone. Beautiful. Finding the right gear is just as important. A single pickup can be the difference between victory and death. And people look out for those larger backpacks. You'd hate to run out of ammo in a fight. <laughs> Strategy and communication are essential to a squad's success. 
context-sensitive smart comms allow legends to quickly share information with their squad. Flatline here. Thanks. Contact with target. Copy that. If you find yourself cornered or in an area that's already been picked clean, locate one of the jump towers. Squads can zip line up and redeploy into a new zone. And always be mindful of the encroaching ring. It can easily spoil your plans, or used wisely, can be the key to victory. Got them. Keeping your entire squad alive is crucial. If a squad mate goes down, move quickly to revive them and get back in the fight. You'll be all right. If they do expire, all hope is not lost. You have a short window to recover the fallen teammate's banner card. If you manage to collect it, locate the nearest respawn beacon and call them back into the fight. But be warned, you'll be heavily exposed, and your returning teammate will have no gear when they arrive. So make sure you're prepared. Thank you. The competition is all about survival, but the true glory comes from a legend's style. As you climb higher in the ranks, a host of customizations and cosmetic loot will become available to you. Use these to deck out your apparel and weapons. And of course, show the whole arena what you're about with your legend banner. The competition continues to attract new, aspiring legends from all corners of the frontier. Who knows where the next champion will come from? And with seasonal events bringing new challenges and opportunities, we've only seen the beginning of what's in store for those brave enough to step foot into the arena. Shoot this. A legend once said, it's a simple game. They kill you, they're better. You kill them, you're better. So there you got to learn much about the characters, the map and so forth. Now as I said in my previous video, this game is smooth as heck, it feels as fluid as Titanfall felt, which is a great thing. The UI is amazing and it's easy to navigate. The way armor and weapons work as well is also great, finding attachments which truly affect the way a weapon feels, armor upgrades we can sponge more than normal damage characters having specific super abilities or ultimate abilities and the fact that there's so much to unlock too is a great great game it's kind of a mix between blackout and overwatch it just plays way more fluid than blackout did but also isn't as character demanding as overwatch was but picking the right characters for your style of play to match your team is recommended and this is why i say it kind of reminds me of overwatch but the game's absolutely awesome early days yet though but it's definitely off to a good start now watching that video which is basically an all you need to know about the game you would have heard her comment on the supply ships and if you land on these from spawn you have a great chance of getting that high elite gear but hey she makes it sound easy it isn't and rightly so Firstly, you have to time your jump perfectly as the ship is always moving and secondly once you land there you have to pull up with other teams thinking the same thing the place gets absolutely hectic and it's only a small area. A few times I've landed up there, it's already been occupied by people and I've already stolen the best loot. So you just stand no chance. But there is another spot which you can use, which in my opinion you have a much better chance of getting elite and high level loot. And that's landing on a marked blue zone on the map as you spawn in, also known as the hot zone. The hot zone consists of a minor blue circle on your map. This can be located anywhere, under the flight path of the ship, across the other side of the map, absolutely anywhere. This hot zone in my opinion though is a much better place to go and try your luck in getting that high level loot. Now just like the ship, sometimes teams will land here, but if you're quick enough and get there first, you can bag yourself an elite weapon. Now it isn't always a guarantee that the best road to loot will spawn here, it is just a chance, but it will tell you on your screen if there is loot in this hot zone. But even so, you still have a better chance of getting here, getting that loot and surviving than fighting it out on a 50 foot by 50 foot ship with 10 other teams. Yes, that sounds fun, but odds are, if you don't get there first, you ain't living very long. So yeah, I recommend you trying to land in a hot zone and looking for that high level loot because it isn't marked on the map. I mean, the hot zone is marked, but the actual loot isn't marked on the map. So it's in a hidden random place. So even if you land there late, there's still a chance you will find it. Now, the first time we landed in this hot zone, my teammate found an elite weapon. Elite weapons come fully maxed out with attachments and they are just monstrous. And you will see that on screen now. So yes, people, if it's elite loot you want, you have two options, the ship 
or the hot zone. I mean, there's a rare chance they will spawn elsewhere, but it is a very rare indeed. Now, I've already made a video showcasing the best spawn spots uh, for easy and plenty of loot crates. In that video, you'll find a link within the video description if you do want to check it out. I do recommend that spot though if you're a newcomer to the game and you want to get used to the way things work, armor, weapons, attachments, and so forth. And like I said, that video will be found linked within the video description. It's basically a spawning location where there's about 10 or 15 loot crates which can loot with your team and get fully kitted out on gear, armor, weapons, and so forth. You know how it goes, people. But yeah, guys, just a quick video for the newcomers to the game and how you get that elite loot. If you are a newcomer to the game and this helps you out, leaving a like really does help me out. If you're new around here and you want to see more, apex legend videos let me know down below in that comment section guys but hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one